August 28, 1963 was an important day in United States history, the day of the March on Washington for jobs and freedom. The day hundreds of thousands of people gathered in Washington, D.C. for this largest of all civil rights demonstrations to call for an end to racial segregation and to hear Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. He spoke of his dream that one day African-American children would no longer be treated unfairly because of the color of their skin, that one day all kids, white and black, would treat each other as sisters and brothers. It was an historic day. That very same day, on a merry-go-round about an hour's drive away, a history-making example of the harmony Dr. King sought was taking place at a small amusement park on the outskirts of Baltimore, Maryland. On that warm August day, 11-month-old Sharon Langley became the first African-American child to go on a ride at that amusement park. On the very first day, it finally dropped segregation after nearly a decade of bitter protests. A new book, Round and Round Together, weaves the story of the struggle to end discrimination at that amusement park into the story of the civil rights movement as a whole, giving an overview of the protests around the country that led to that monumental March on Washington. Round and Round Together also describes how the same merry-go-round that Sharon Rangley rode in August 1963 made its way nearly 20 years later to the National Mall in Washington, D.C., where it still is today, sitting in front of the Smithsonian's Arts and Industries Building, not far from where Dr. King gave his I Have a Dream speech. Renamed the Carousel on the Mall, this merry-go-round provides an example of Dr. King's dream brought to life. As big kids, little kids, young kids, old kids, kids of all races and religions circle round and round, having fun together. Round and Round Together tells the story of this merry-go-round and its place in civil rights history.